how to appear taller and win friends. <laughs> oh, uh, welcome back to the channel. As a matter of fact, welcome to a brand new series that I shall be calling the Design Your Desk series. So anyway, this series, I will be sharing a couple of different products that I think you will appreciate to elevate that workspace. So over the years, I've been sharing my workstation or workspace or work desk over on Instagram and people seem to like it. Uh, so much so, so that a lot of my audience actually have discovered me on Pinterest, interestingly enough, because back then I didn't even have a Pinterest account. This week, we will be starting with one simple item that I think can definitely change the mood of your workspace. And I am talking about desk mats or desk pads. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you already know how much a desk pad can change the look and feel of your space. But the problem is there's way too many of them out there and they're all at varying different price points. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to explain what you get from a cheap desk mat or desk pad versus the one that's a little bit more premium. And we will also be exploring some unique ones that have just started popping up in the market. The cheapest ones you'll find on Amazon are mostly faux leather or pleather which tries to simulate the look and feel of real leather. This particular example is made by Delancey and it's water and UV resistant, one of the advantages of using faux leather. It's a pretty good size at 36 by 20 inches and does a job. It's not particularly pleasing to the touch, but it still adds a sense of style to the desk. And because it's not too soft, it's not too delicate, which means it's a good surface to write on. The most affordable desk pads can start as low as $10 all the way up to $29. The next example we have here is by a tech accessory company called Satechi. The size is a bit smaller at 23 by 12.2 inches and it's made out of polyurethane leather. While it's not real natural leather, it still does a really good job at mimicking it. And because of that, it commands a slightly higher price tag at $39. It does not say if it's water resistant or not, so I'm not even going to test that theory. Although they're soft, it's still pretty safe to use as a writing surface without a fear of damaging it. Okay, now so we're moving to the more premium type of desk mats. Personally, I'm a big fan of Grove made products and I've never really shied away from that in my past videos. To me, they were the ones who really started the trend of creating very functional, stylish, and premium feeling desk pads. And because they're my personal favorite, I want to show you the three different types that they actually offer because they're very different from one another. And I'm gonna start with the matte desk pads, which are actually their most affordable in their lineup. However, that doesn't mean you get less of a desk pad. As a matter of fact, I think you get a lot of benefits from this compared to the more expensive versions. It's their most durable desk pad and it has a two layer design that gives it a thickness of three and a half millimeters. The top layer is natural linoleum and the bottom layer is made out of natural cork for that added cushion. The surface is smooth and is great for writing and using your mouse with. Because it's durable, you don't necessarily have to be gentle with it. However, it's not self-healing and it's not intended to be used as a cutting surface. Price for the mat version starts at $40. Here we have the wool version of their desk mats. It makes the space feel very, very cozy and it's one of my favorites. It's made out of merino wool, which is very fine and yet the product is actually very dense and strong. I love typing on it and I feel safe resting my camera gear or any other tech item on top just because it has a very cushioned feel. Using a mouse offers a bit of resistance, but not enough to make working on it unpleasant. Because it's so soft, it's not really ideal as a writing surface. And although it feels delicate, it's actually water resistant. Also, I'd be careful not to spill any coffee on it. The wool versions start at $50. Grove Maid's most expensive versions of their desk mats come in leather. And the reason being is, using Grove Maid's own tagline, they are made the hard way. They use vegetable tanned leather, which is basically a tedious process that takes up to six weeks to keep the natural leather from decaying. This makes for a very supple surface that just feels extremely premium. 
Using a mouse on it is nice and smooth and it also is a great surface to ride on. Heck, even just resting your hands on the surface is a pleasant experience. And because it's made out of natural animal hide, you'll see little imperfections on the surface that just adds more to its character. Since it's very soft, you have to handle it with a bit more care. So avoid spills or hard and heavy objects that might damage the surface. Price starts at $100. Since dust pads have been quite popular lately, some companies started to make their own versions but with some added features, such as this Orbit Key desk mat. The key selling point of this desk mat is that it has a built-in access toolbar for your pens or any other little items that you don't want rolling around your desk. The toolbar has a magnetic cable holder to help keep things organized, and you also get this really handy document hideaway that reveals a PET felt surface underneath that also helps with cushioning. Since the surface is made out of vegan leather, it's durable and is water resistant. However, it's not that soft and it isn't as premium feeling as I would like. But I think the added features can be very appealing to some people, especially if you're the type who signs a lot of documents. Currently, they are offered in two colors and also two sizes. Price starts at $64.90. So I hope this video has given you enough information to help you decide which one works best for you. Just to be clear, I was not paid by any of these companies to make a video on their products or to say nice things about them. These are all based on my personal impressions and experience with using them. If you enjoyed this video, please tap that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also visit my Instagram page if you'd like to see how I've designed my desks over the last two years. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.